today I'm going to be uncoiling one, two, three planners and recoiling them. All right, let's get to it. Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time stopping in. I'm Tina. Thanks so much for spending some time here with me today. Now you might be wondering, why am I uncoiling my planners? Well, honestly, they're not quite exactly the way that I want them to be. Now, if you do plan on doing this, you want to make sure that you check out your planners, make sure everything is correct in them, because once you uncoil them, then that like voids out any guarantees with Erin Condren. So you want to make sure that you do that uh, before moving forward with this. And you only need a couple of supplies in order to do this. Uh, you want to have some pliers, and I recommend something like this that isn't very wide. Uh, if it's they're like wider pliers, then it is a little bit trickier to get in there um, within the coil to grab what you need to to bend them. Um, the other thing that you're going to want is some kind of tape. Now, I happen to be using electrical tape. This works really well. Previously, I have used like painter's tape or like a masking tape. And what you want to do is you want to wrap the pliers because pliers have those little teeth in there and you definitely want to make sure that you're wrapping those up that way you are creating more of a padded type of grip here because once you grab onto that coil those little teeth will go ahead and like bite right into the coil and then mar it up so make sure that you wrap up your pliers very very important i know that there are tools out there that you can get that are already like have that protective coating on there um, i actually am a prior optician so I'm very well aware of the tools that are available and if you want to invest in those you definitely can however if it's the first time you're doing this just try it like this because you might be perfectly fine using um whatever tools you already have. All right, let me go ahead and walk you through what I have already done and what I'm gonna go ahead and do um, in today's video. So I did this off camera. I uncoiled a notebook and the notebook coils are definitely much smaller and you could see how I had to bend it. And it worked out very nice because I want to add some notebook pages into the planners that I'm going to be moving into come July. But I didn't put this back together because I just want to have these like free pages available for me anytime I want to like do this moving forward. Plus, I have an idea of what I'm going to be putting on this a smaller coil, which I will get to in just a little bit. I have two planners that I'm going to be starting in July. I have my daily duo and then I have my life planner here and this one is going to be for work. I have this one right here and this is my current life planner. We're going to start by taking this apart simply because I want to take these pages out and transfer them in to my new planner. All right so the first thing you want to do is we're going to take the covers off. I love the detachable covers. They are so convenient. Now, what I like to do is I like to uncoil at the bottom and I will leave the top bent the way that it is. And I found that I don't really need to do both ends. Try to uncoil this bent piece in one movement. Now, it does take a little bit of muscle, not too much. And let's see here. Sometimes the angle is a little weird. And I think maybe I extended those um, that tape out a little further than I probably should have. But it's okay. So I'm kind of trying to get the pliers in here. Okay, this is better. <laughs> I sort of had to get the pliers like in here first. And it's better to do it like in smaller steps rather than in like one swift movement because you have a little bit better um, angle on it. Now this one is, I'm not going to be using this one after uh, June, so 
it gets a little weird. I'm okay with that. Um, all right, so you can kind of see how I have it right now, but it's kind of sticking out. So you don't really want to do that. You want to have it more of a curve. So it looks pretty good, but I still kind of have like this straight edge that I want to um, mold a little bit better into a curve. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing and also get the best angle for myself. So it's a little tricky, but see what I could do here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think that um, the paper is going to move out of there pretty good. I'm kind of bringing it a little closer. There we go. So the best advice that I could give you is to kind of take your time with it. Now, honestly, the uncoiling goes pretty quickly. The one thing you want to do is, oh, I forgot to take out. I have a few things in here. You want to make sure you take out any snap-ins that you have in here because that will hold you up for sure. All right, so now it looks like this one I already uncoiled by mistake, but that's okay. Um, so now this top part, since I am not uncoiling it, I want it to clear because, see, I'm going to start twisting this but this is gonna kind of get in the way. So you just kind of like wanna take this slow. Now you could uncoil this as well. I have found that it's really not necessary because it really only takes like a few twists before this kind of clears. So kind of bringing it out a little bit. So there's one. Now I'm gonna keep on moving here. All right. So you could see that this bent that I made worked out really nicely because it's uncoiling pretty easily. And that has already cleared. So now I'm just going to go for it here. Now I don't have the pages clipped. And I don't know. I, I've done it both ways where I've had the pages clipped and I've had them unclipped. I feel like when I'm coiling, like once I get going, having them clipped kind of... Um, makes it a little trickier and you want to make sure that like you're not ripping anything so you might be hearing like a little something there um, but again I'm not too worried about this because this one is the one that I am moving out of so let's just keep going here and I'm gonna do this like without cutting anything out hopefully I don't have to edit any weird noises out in the back, but I just want to kind of keep moving. Now, you're probably wondering, well, is, that seems like so much work. Why are you doing that? Um, You know what? I want to have the planner set up the way that I like it. And honestly, it's fun. Like, I find this really fun. At first, like the first time I did it, I was like, oh, I was really nervous about it. But I would think I was more excited about being able to like uncoil the planner and put the pages in that I really want that that kind of like superseded any fear that I had so I just went for it all right so it's uncoiled oh my gosh okay here this is the new planner now I've got to make some decisions here the new planners have this new vellum style and I like it but I really like this vellum instead, and I want that to go into my new planner. All right. I might want to use this in another planner. It's so pretty. It's like a nice dashboard. So I'm actually going to take this one out and keep it to the side, but it's not going to go into my new planner. It's just something I'm going to save for maybe another planner possibly in the future. Um, and, if I, and if I don't use it, then that's okay too. All right, so this right here... These are the pages, my schedule pages here that I am taking out because I love the way that I design them. And honestly, I want to continue to enjoy them for the remainder of this year. Here is another dashboard that I created. So I'm going to take that one out. And then these other pages are the lists that I created. And these are coming in here. Okay. This is another dashboard page that I created and that is gonna come out. And then these are some notes pages that I have. These are actually just going to stay in here. 
And then the other thing I'm going to grab is this notes um, divider because this planner, my new one, is a daily duo and it does not have a notes tab. And I want to have the notes tab. So I'm going to grab that. I want to put this one back together. So this is where things can get a little tricky. Now, I did see somebody take the, um, and keep their folders. And you know what? I like that idea. I'm going to take this folder out. I never used it, but I'm going to keep it to the side. Now, this particular planner happens to be the whole year. And I am switching out. I, I like made the decision. I know that I'm only using it like for six months, but I'm perfectly fine with that. And to be honest, I tend to trend on six months staying in my planners without like switching them out. All right, here we go. So here's the coil that I took off of here. Now I need to go ahead and thread it back in here. So what you want to do is you want to line up your pages very, very carefully. Make sure when you look down here that the holes you could see through there. Okay, so that's um, key because otherwise you will not be able to thread this coil back through. Now this is where clamping these pages would probably be a good idea, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. I think when you start off having the pages clamped is a great idea because it kind of keeps things from moving around until the coil gets far enough down and gets more stabilized. But I, I'm going to go for it this way and I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on it. Now keeping these in order can be a little tricky. But we're just going to go for it here. So it seems to be cooperating so far. And the reason why I'm doing it without clipping the pages is because, quite honestly, it does kind of help to coil the pages when they are a little bit more, um, got some more movement because you can kind of like uh, move the coil in through here. A little bit easier because if they're all like completely lined up then the coil can get kind of caught up because I have done that before all right so here we go we're about what a third of the way and you want to do it gingerly you know don't be too aggressive with it because that's where you can end up like tearing the punches when you're trying to get the um, get it in here. I keep having to turn the planner this way because I need to kind of line up the pages and put the pages down on the table to go ahead and get them lined up. And that seems to be working the best because there's really no other way to do that. You can't do it on this side because you've got the tabs and then you can't do it here or here because of course the coil is in the way. So the only way to like line up the pages is to stand them up this way, stand the planner up this way. So now this does take a little bit more time when you are recoiling versus uncoiling. All right. Oops, got caught. You know, it's definitely worth taking your time to do it because, again, um, that way you don't damage the pages. So I'm not editing this out. I am just moving along here so you kind of get an idea. And what I recommend is that if you're going to do this and you're going to be like... Um, you know, taking pages out, adding pages in, figure everything out before you actually uncoil anything. You could put like little sticky notes, um, whatever you need to do to mark the pages that you know that you want to remove. And then having the pages 
like already ready and in order of how you want to put them back in because that's what we're going to do next with that planner. I'm so excited to do this. Like this is, this is very, um, this is fun for me. I don't know. It's just part of the process, like setting up your planner for a new time, whether it's the beginning of the year or uh, in the middle of the year, the way I'm doing it. It's just a lot of fun. Okay. So now I'm going to stop for a moment because the top part is not uncoiled, so therefore I want to be careful because I don't want this little bent edge here to start like tearing at the pages. So let's slow it down here and I want to kind of bring it a little bit away because I have one, one last go here. All right, so this one I'm going to bring around. This one. There we go. Bring it through. There we go. There she is. She is all coiled back. All right, so now I need to put that bend back in. And you can see how they bent this end. I did stretch it out a little bit. Not a big deal. I can always just kind of finesse it back a little bit with the, with just my hands. I don't need to use a tool. Like, it, believe me, the coil is hard to bend, so you definitely need to use a little bit of muscle, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty, it's not horribly hard. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like the strongest person, so. Um, okay, so that's that. So now we're going to go ahead and put that bend back in. And I'm just gonna kind of like bend it. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna try to do it in one movement the best that I can. And I'm just gonna kind of go for it here. And kind of like follow what's at the top there. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to open it up, flip it around. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. So now my cover can come back on here. Isn't this pretty? I love this. My little bling cover. This was a um, workshop that I was a part of. Um, I am an Erin Condren affiliate. So if you do decide to purchase anything, I greatly appreciate if you use my Erin Condren affiliate link. It is down below. And thank you so much to those of you that have already used it because I know many of you have. So thank you so much. And you still have plenty of time to get your planner and set it up for July. Okay, so there it is. This one is done. Um, we're going to take this off. So I was taking a look at my pliers and they seem like they're good. Like, I don't think I need to add any more tape on here. The teeth are not like biting through the tape yet. So I'm in good shape here. All right. So here we are again. We I want to take just this bottom. Now, this is the first time this one's being uncoiled because the one that I just showed you, I had uncoiled that before. Whoops. So I want to get a good grip on this. All right, so it looks a little like wiggly there. So let's hopefully when I add the curve in here, kind of gets rid of some of this wiggle. I might need to finesse it a little bit more. All right, so I am ready to uncoil this. Again, I am not taking the bend out of the top. I just took it out of the bottom. So I want to kind of like finesse this around here. Let's take a look and see. 
and we're looking pretty good here no problems all right I was just a little concerned because you know again I want that to be as like curved in the same way that the rest of the coil is curved and also like straight this way so you've got two things you're looking at you're looking at the curvature of it and how straight it is because as I'm pulling this out this little like edge could end up grabbing like the punches and that's sharp so I don't want that to like tear at the pages so let me see just taking a quick peek at the pages and everything like looks good here so all right I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and take this off all right here I am at the end and it's uncoiled yay all right let's start putting this planner together the way that I want it to be. This vellum is going to come out. So I'm going to take that one out. This one is coming in because I like that one better. This page is staying. This page is staying and this is actually a tabbed page. Any additional notes that I need for like pre-planning for 2025. So I would like to have an extra notes page for that so I'm going to put that in there and then I have my tab that I'm adding in here that says notes I have my a uh, couple of blank pages of notes here so that way I can create my dashboard for these right here and then I have a couple of more notes pages to again create my dashboard that I am setting up for these pages. And then before I start July, I am adding in a couple more notes pages. So this is how the planner is going to start off. Now, everything else is staying the same in here. So let's look at this from the back now. So the folder is coming out. All right, here are the sticker sheets, and these are coming out. Heritage and Awareness Observances. Um, this is going to stay in the planner. I'm just not sure where it's going to be placed just yet. Stickers. Now, I add stickers for every month, and I will add stickers on most days. So I'm a little concerned about how bulky this is going to be. And I'm thinking of just creating a separate holiday planner with these two months on this smaller note coil and that way that will give this one a lot more room to grow as I add stickers so this will be recoiled not in today's video now this page heritage and awarenesses at the back here so I think I like that idea so I'm going to do that I did go ahead and kind of readjust this coil to make it go through the um, punches much easier. So you want it to be straight this way, like as much as possible without like a lot of like curves in here. And you want it to kind of like flow with the coil this way as much as you can because recoiling it, then it could get hung up on here and you want to try to avoid that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start this off. So again, we want to make sure all of our pages are even and see like through here. I think you can kind of get an idea of what I've got going on there. Yeah, that's definitely much better. It's like flowing much nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up because I'm going to recoil this and take my time. I don't want to rush through it because of course I don't want to like mar up the punches. This is the part that I feel like is the trickiest of this. Um, 
And I feel sometimes like when I'm filming it, it's also like at a weird angle for me. So let's see. I'm actually going to stand up and do it this way. Okay, so let's get a good, decent grip on it. We're going to go down. And then we're going to go in. All right. I'm excited. It is all together. Oh my gosh. And there's like lots of room on here for this to grow. So, all right. I said at the very beginning, I am going to be uncoiling and recoiling three planners. I've done the two. Now we're going to go on to the last one here, the third one. And I use this for work. Now, this is my work planner currently. I just want to show you, this is a monthly planner. So you have the monthly layouts and then you have this dashboard here. There are notes pages in here before you start the next month. So for my new one, because this one is ending, I am going to be moving into the compact vertical. So let's open this up here. So we've got, of course, the monthly. We've got the dashboard on this side now. We've got a notes page over here, and then we jump in to the um, compact vertical layout. However, I'm missing all of those notes pages that I really like, and I use them. So when I took that notebook apart, I went ahead and I grabbed the pages from there to go ahead and feed into this one. Course, I have to take the planner apart. So let's start doing that. Okay. So I'm going to again work at the bottom here. Now I do have this beautiful sun sunrise coil in here. I keep wanting to call it a sunset coil, but I guess either way, right? Sunrise, sunset. Um, and it should be fine. Like I had a rose gold coil on the other one and that one um, went, you know, came through nicely. Um, this is still okay. It's a like a little tattered, but the teeth are not coming through. So I have like kind of a lot of tape on here too. So that's probably why. Okay. So I'm going to separate this a little bit here. Because I think that's where I kind of went wrong the last time. I need to give myself a little bit more of maneuvering room here. Because this really just needs to kind of come up. And I want to have a good enough grip on it to do that. All right. So that looks pretty good. I'll have to bring it closer in. And let's take a look at it here. And honestly, I think that's probably the best bend that I did so far. See, so practice, practice, practice. Okay, I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. Because if it's winging out, then it's not going to like flow nicely. But I think we're good. Okay, so let's see how it goes. All right, here it is. It's all uncoiled. Oh my goodness. I want to take a look at this coil because I do want to kind of finesse it a little bit. Okay, I think it's as good as it's going to get. I think it's, I mean, it's, it is a good like uncoil. Um, it just seemed like it was getting a little bit hooked up, but everything looks great. The pages are fine. Just want to kind of give you a quick little look at that so you can see for yourself. Nothing is torn, nothing is like marred in any way. I am a little concerned at how thick this is going to be, but I will figure that out. So the, this is staying for sure. These are all staying here. This one is gonna take a little bit of putting things together because I'm adding these notes pages into each month. So here's July. And I want to bring these notes pages in here. Okay. 
And then we're going to go to August. And August has got a lot more going on. So I added like an extra page in there. All right, so I definitely had to make some adjustments here because I needed to have those notes pages put in because I absolutely need those in here. And of course, I want to try the compact vertical layout for work. It was way too thick. So I did slim it down and I took out uh, four months actually from this planner because honestly, I'm not even sure how this is going to work out for me with the compact vertical layout in here. I'm hoping that it works out and I absolutely fall in love with it and um, I will continue to use it moving forward, but that is still yet to be determined. All right, so now I am on to the recoiling step here. And to do that, of course, everything needs to be lined up. Now this one is a little bit trickier because I added in all those pages, whereas the other planners really um, didn't have a lot of things like in between the whole like bulk of it. I'm going to start threading this coil through and then that's going to give me a good indication whether I can keep moving forward or not. See how that works for me. Okay, it's moving, so I'm gonna speed things up. All right, it is back together. I have ever had a little casualty and I tore the vellum right here, this very last like punch here. And I didn't do that when I was coiling it. I actually did it um, when I was bending this back. So um, I think I just got a little too aggressive. And you could see right here that I did tear that. So um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing, but it's not bad. It's not like, oh my gosh, the end of the world for me. I do have to say that this colorful one like this seems to be a little bit different type of material. This is the first time I'm uncoiling something like that's got this like gradient design. Uh, the other one was just the solid and it was fine, but this one seems a little bit harder to do, to be quite honest. You know, it's always like a different experience every single time pretty good experience and nothing really bad has happened. And I wouldn't say that this is bad, but it's, you know, it's something to consider if you want to uncoil yourself and do that, you know, you could end up tearing a page just by, um, you know, like when you're grabbing it and trying to bend it back. So I think I know that that's what happened there. So anyway, um, I think that that's good though. It looks good. Um, I'm excited about this new planner and I will be talking about this one more in future video. But for now, I'm just going to put the covers back on here. All right. So I am really excited about this new setup that I have. Um, it, it definitely took some time to do this. Obviously, I sped things up for you. It's definitely something that takes a little bit of finessing with the coil. I had one little hiccup with this one with the vellum where I did tear it. But other than that, all of the pages are uh, great. There's no problems with them. I was able to add in the notes pages that I wanted to and slim things down where I needed to to make the planners work. So this planner, I will be um, ending this one in June. And then I will be starting the daily duo here in July. You're going to definitely see more of this because I will continue Continue to set this up and share that with you along with my work planner do like a flip through of how it turned out and how I will be using it and setting things up for this one as well so super excited about this um, the tools like I said just use something around the house and if you have any questions for me please drop them down below or feel free if you are on Instagram to go and DM me there. I would be more than happy to help you out the best that I can with this. If you 
are going to be purchasing anything from Erin Condren, I greatly appreciate if you use my affiliate link. It is down below in the description. So thank you so much for thinking about using it on your next purchase. And I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of something out of it. At least you were entertained, if nothing else, if you decide you don't want to attempt to uncoil and recoil your planner. I hope that this was fun for you. And if it was, be sure to hit that like button and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell when you do. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Have you uncoiled before? Are you going to attempt it? What are your tips and tricks? I know there's different things out there that you can see, but this has worked out well for me and I am really happy with the technique that I've been using. But I am always open to hear any other tips and ideas that you have to share because I love learning from you as well. If you watch this video all the way through till the end, leave me a tool emoji. All right, thank you so much for joining me in this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.